Well, Douglas, what are we up to? We're heading out to haul hay. Sun's out, gun's out. I was just out here 20 minutes ago. Just hooked onto the wagon. Got all the equipment moved from where we store the hay. Got the spears on the tractor. Was just heading out and she started raining. Something terrible. So, against my better judgment, I called her quits. Went inside and she stopped raining. Just the way she goes around here. It's like, oh, there's Mike out doing some rain. Mike goes inside, no rain, sun. So, we'll see how long this lasts. They're calling for uh, thunderstorms throughout the day. Uh, today so and actually we didn't get that much rain you can tell she's still powdery um, so my goal for today is to haul the hay off the opening rounds off of uh, the three fields that I'd like to get cut later this afternoon um, yeah <laughs> Oh, relax, it's just the goats. So yeah, get the hay hauled, get those three fields hopefully cut down, and then if I'm done that, haul the hay off of another three fields and get those cut uh, between today and tomorrow. And then I'll have to probably rake the first fields that I cut today in two days. And then, uh, Get ready to bail. Anyway, this is the complete wagon. This is the uh, the uh, big overhaul that we did on the one wagon. So it's got two brand new beams made out of tamarack, as you can see. I got them cut on an angle there just so that uh, when you're turning, if you're turning sharp and you're coming up hills, which we have lots of here, uh, you're not cutting off the... End of your beam, or uh, yeah, running into the end of your beam. Anyway, and then brand new deck, half of it's tamarack, half of it's spruce. But uh, anyway, she should be uh, just beautiful. So I gotta get the one inch tossed over there with the other boards. And uh, but yeah, she's ready to go. So I ended up uh, putting two two inch blocks up underneath the beams there as for risers because this wagon didn't have the drop axle but anyway so yeah oh that sun's already hot man it's been such a crazy spring summer it's like pouring rain one minute 110 degrees the next Yesterday was nice, uh, bailed up another, what did we get, another 90 bales. I bailed up last night when we came home from camp. And uh, it was actually quite nice bailing. There was a bit of a breeze and it was only like 29 degrees out instead of 31. And just that couple of degrees difference there made, a, made all the difference in the world. So... Anyway, we're going to hook onto this wagon here, and uh, I got the front spear, the back spear on. We're going to head over and uh, do that one field there. I'm just going to take one wagon. It's a bit of a pain getting out of the driveway onto the road out of that field, so I'm just going to take one wagon. Uh, I should be able to get it all, though, in two trips. And then I'll hook onto the second wagon, and I'll be able to do uh, this field here and this little field so uh baler we're at uh 195 or 196 bales uh only the second day bailing yesterday so we're doing pretty good yeah
so exciting. And that's just off the opening rounds of our place, uh, Shirley's and Stewie's little field. So pretty good. All right, guys, see you out there.
Alright guys, first load of 2019 hauling hay done. Only, let's see, 12 bales, another oh, 80 loads or so. No, that's just with one wagon, so. Oh, normally we're hauling with two. Anyway. Looks like some pretty good stuff. So you might be wondering why we leave a space in between. And that is for airflow. Um, if you have your bales tight wherever they're touching, you lose quite a bit to uh, mold. So, uh, yeah. So if you were to say, stack two close together and put a row down the center on top and not have it tarped no good uh, moisture gets in there can't breathe and she just rots heats up deteriorates no good so you can stack it but then you got to cover it if you're not going to cover it like we don't uh, you got to lay them single and you want a nice little gap in between for airflow uh, it doesn't have to be real big but as long as they're not uh, not touching so anyway that went pretty good for first load um, just hook back onto the wagon go and finish that one field then I'll hook up and put two wagons on and we'll keep giving her uh, hopefully finish that up and then we'll go and have lunch and then hook onto the swather and Hopefully cut some hay if she doesn't rain anymore. But anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this little video. Hope you guys uh, were amused. If not, it is what it is, man. Um but yeah, we do our best. So make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already done so, and if you already have, much obliged. Muchly appreciated. Uh, if you guys like that video, if you like the content, and if you guys like the, the, the video editing uh, technical abilities there, done by my wife, make sure you hit the old thumbs up button, eh? And leave us a comment. Let us know what you guys are thinking. Let us know how bad the uh, editing is. Because she's good at uh, taking criticism. Not really, but leave it anyway. Alright guys, Till next time, ciao.